how do I get my SLP from Ronin to Binance to my bank or to Gcash? Well, that's a common question that I get from my scholars from Axie Infinity. So you know what? I wanted to go ahead and make a video for this so I can post it in the Discord. And maybe at the same time, it will help some of you guys out there uh, that just started Axie Infinity, just started using Ronin. Maybe you get your SLP to your Ronin and you don't know what to do with it or you just want to look this up. So there's plenty of videos already there, but you know what? We're gonna do one as well. That's the video, enjoy, let's get to it. All right guys, uh, so this is the Binance website. Again, I'm here in the Philippines and you know this is the website we use. I know there's another version for US, but uh, since most people that will probably be watching this are in the Philippines as well, this is the website here. There is also an app for it, an, an official Binance app, which you can download for your phone. Um, but you'll have to first make an account. I'm already signed in here. So you'll have to make an account. You will then have to, I believe, get verified. I'm not sure if you need to get, you know, level one or level two verified to use the um, P2P method. They change it to funding now. But to use that method, I think you need to get a certain step of verification. So, you know, you just need an ID, basically. Um, anyway, so once you have your, an account, your account made, and everything is set up and good to go, you'll go to your wallet here. You can go to your wallet, you can go to overview if you want, um, but fiat and spot is where you wanna go. And then from here, right, you're gonna, you won't be able to see SLP here under your coins. So you can actually type SLP, right? And this, you don't wanna use this one, this is the old SLP contract. So you wanna use this SLP right here, okay? And then you're going to click deposit because you're going to send SLP from your Ronin wallet to your Binance wallet, right? That's what you're going to do. So you're going to click on deposit. Okay, it's going to pop up SLP right here. Select network deposit to. You're going to click Ronin. Sometimes this is suspended. It really depends on the Ronin network, but most of the time it's okay. Um, much better now than it was before, guys. Before, you used to have to go through MetaMask and MetaMask to Binance and then do it this way um, with lots of gas fees. There's no more gas fees like that anymore. You can do this all through Ronin Network. So you click Ronin. You need to read this. Be careful that you read this. Um, please replace the address from 0x zero, zero to Ronin, right? If you're transferring assets from your Ronin wallet, please replace the address prefix from Zero, zero X to Ronin. You click OK. Right. Now, this is your address right here. OK, this is your address right here. You can click copy. Right, you copied it. You can also get a QR. You can also get a QR code, um, which I believe you can use for the Ronin um, phone app. You can scan this. All right. You'll notice here too, minimum deposit is, you know, one SLP. All right, that's, you know, that's not really relevant because you're probably gonna be depositing more than one SLP anyway. I just wanna show you, these are the things you need to know. Um, it takes 12 network confirmations, just like most uh, crypto transactions. And yeah, so you're gonna open your Ronin extension, which you'll have on Google, right? And you'll see I have some SLP in here. You, this will be the same thing on your phone too. I'll, I'll show you guys on the phone as well in this video, but on the PC first, so you click your SLP, 346 SLP, you're gonna click send, right? Remember you copied this address already from the website. You can just go here and paste it. Okay, make sure, double check, always check the last four digits. B648, B648, okay. And also the first. I mean, usually you just I just check the last four, but if you wanna be super careful, Five two three nine. Okay, your asset is going to be SLP, and you can send the max SLP if you want to. I'm just going to send fifty. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we're just going to send a hundred. We're going to send a hundred SLP. We're going to click next. Okay, you're going to see it's going from my Ronin to here. Free one hundred transactions, one hundred SLP. It's about five US dollars. You're going to click confirm, and you're going to see this right here pending right so it's going to be pending now recently there's been a lot of issues with ronin dropping transactions and even when they say they dropped sometimes they didn't drop they actually sent uh there's just been a lot of issues because i think they're upgrading 
the Ronin network and trying to work on it to make it a lot better because you have to keep in mind that there is over 2 million players of Axie Infinity, right? So just keep that in mind. But you'll see here, it's already subtracted from the, the total that I have here. Um, so I have 246 left. Now it might take some time for it to get to Binance. What I've noticed with Binance is most of the time, I would say probably 90% of the time, it might take five minutes. But there is instances where Ronin can be very delayed or congested or something's going on, or maybe it's on Binance's side. And it could take, the, the longest I've waited was two hours uh, for the transaction to go through. Don't freak out. It's just sometimes it happens. It's not Axie Infinity's fault. It's not the developer's fault. It's just sometimes the network gets congested or Binance might be doing something, okay? So pretty much you just wait patiently here. Um, you'll get a notification on the bell here on the website. If you also have the Binance app, it'll pop up a notification on your phone as well. So that's just something to keep in mind. We'll see how long it takes. It's 143, probably sent it at like 142. So let's see how long it takes. Okay, it only took about a minute um, I got the notification on my phone. It says deposited successfully here on the, the Binance app. It also gave me a, a notification bell here. You can see that you have deposited 100 SLP. So you can see it right now. If you go back and refresh your wallet, go back and refresh the wallet, we will have SLP here now, right? So this is SLP. Now that we have the SLP here, right? What you're going to want to do is transfer it because the next step, once it's on Binance, what you want to do is pretty much get it to your Gcash or get it to your bank, right? So what you want to do next is you're going to transfer, okay? You're going to transfer from fiat to spot. Remember, this wallet is called fiat to spot and you're going to transfer it to funding, okay? Funding. If you don't have this option, it's because you probably need to be verified up to a certain level. I don't know if they change that, so just keep that in mind, okay? Now, you're transferring it from fiat to spot to funding, and then here you're gonna type SLP, okay? We have 100 SLP in there. We're gonna click max. We're gonna confirm, right? Okay, transfer successful. Now, you, it's no longer in your fiat and spot. It is now here in the funding wallet, okay? SLP here is now here. 100 SLP, right? About 300 pesos. So from this point, what you want to do is click on sell. Okay. From here, again, it's on buy right now. We want to sell. And you can notice, you can actually do this too, since we're in the Philippines. I don't know if this is everywhere, but you'll notice too, SLP is here. So you can actually directly sell SLP, but the thing is you need to check the price. Also the limit, the minimum, this is where it gets a little, you know, a little iffy, right? You can't, you can see here, no one here wants to buy just a hundred SLP, right? No one wants to buy a hundred SLP. You could go to probably page six, look at the price. It's at 276, right? You don't want to do that because you're, you're, you're losing money here. Okay. Um, so in that case, what you can do is you can go back to your wallet. You can go back to your wallet, funding wallet, and you would actually have to convert your SLP, right? So I just want to show you guys this because I've seen people do this before and, and make the mistake. So, and wonder what to do. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to send it back, right? We're going to send it back. So funding to fiat, SLP, because the SLP price in the minimum is just too high. So we're gonna send the SLP back, okay? It's instant. Then what you're gonna do is you can actually convert it. You can trade, if you want to trade and get cryptos, you can trade here, or you can convert. You can do this as well. Um, let me see, SLP. Okay, we have 100, we're gonna convert it. Let's just do it USDT. You can try different things too, but this is what I normally do. I do it USDT. Okay, the minimum is 300. We can't actually do 300. So 
Anyway, hold on. Let me send some more SLP. Okay. So welcome back. We've sent actually the entire SLP, the 346, because there is a minimum when you do this. So you have to make sure, basically most of you guys that are scholars will have more than 300 SLP, right? So um, this will probably be more than a thousand even. If you don't, then just save until you do, right? So you're gonna go ahead, SLP, you're gonna convert it to USDT. You can click max preview conversion. You're gonna get 19 USDT right okay convert now if you go back to your wallet again you will have usdt here and you need to do the same thing you're going to transfer the usdt once again uh transfer from fiat to spot over to funding change this to usdt and max okay it's about twenty dollars or what is that a thousand a thousand pesos maybe now next thing click on your funding wallet once again here's your usdt twenty dollars okay we're gonna go ahead and sell it quick sell okay usdt philippine peso make sure you click on the philippine peso for for fiat that's the currency we're using and then whatever payment method you want to use i know majority of you want to use gcash uh, you can also use the different banks, BDO, Bank of Philippines, Coins PH is also an option here that I've used before. Um, but let's just say you want to use Gcash, right? So Gcash, now you need to find here. Now remember, you only have 20 USDT. You have to look here at the limit. You're looking at the price, but also the limit. This person only accepts the minimum of 10,000 pesos. We don't have that. All of these don't have that. We have to actually find someone right here. Their minimum is 700 pesos. That's okay, right? So when we find this and we know we have about a thousand pesos worth, you also want to check this. They've done 4,368 orders with a high percentage of completion rate. That's good. You are sacrificing a little bit of pesos because you look here, it's 50.48 compared to 50.6. That does make a small difference. But once you're satisfied with this, you click sell USDT, right? You can see it's going to take about 15 minutes maximum. Sometimes it happens faster than that. So here I want to sell all my USDT. I will receive 1000 pesos. Then you click sell, right? You're going to click sell. I'm not going to do this right now, actually, but you're going to click sell here what's going to happen is a screen's going to pop up it's going to be a chat a chat box with the seller and all you have to do since you're the one selling usdt they will send you the money first to your gcash now once they send you the money they're going to click confirm and then it's your turn to click confirm right that you receive the money so go into your gcash check to make sure you got it or your bank account or wherever you had you know whatever you chose for a payment method once you see that you have it then you go and confirm you'll have to get like a text verification or authenticator whatever you attached for security and then it'll release your us doll usdt to the seller okay and then that's it so it's that simple um, I know it sounds like a lot of steps, but it's actually very easy. It's also just like this on the phone, right? So there you go. And that's it. And then you have your Gcash and your SLP is gone. So there you have it. That is how you take your SLP from the PC, from your Ronin over to Binance, and then you sell it into your Gcash or your bank account. Uh, very simple steps, honestly, and a lot easier than it used to be. You don't have to pay a ton of gas fees anymore, which is huge. And yeah, it's that simple. I hope this video helped you guys out. I will have another video showing the phone version. Uh, still very simple, but pretty much the same thing. It's just on the phone. You can use the Ronin app and the Binance app, but this is for me what I've gotten used to doing. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Again, guys, thank you very much. I'm Naisu, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.